Have you seen some M4 games in the qualifier stage? Yes, yes, some. I already observed that many of the teams are really adopting the new meta in this patch. You yeah. Know. Will we see some the same picks like the carry priority pick and also the glue? Yeah, the glue. So very annoying hero. Yes, it's so, true that very uh, annoying ang glue. So this first match we have now is. CITU versus USJR. So, what can we, what what can we expect from these teams now, RG? So, in I think in CITU has a has a potential to win against USJR because they are having a comfort hero pick since the last December 17 match against USPF. So their comfort picks, which are Beatrix, Valentina, Grok. So that's why we need to step up. They need to prepare the USJR itself. So now, and again, uh, the the priority picks will be, uh, I, I think, carry. Uh, we have glue as well. Um, Eve. Eve. Yeah, Eve. The Eve. Eve also. Also, the savior has been buffed. Yes. That's why there are new junglers now. Um, the Ling has been picked up to counter this um, backline mages. Hayabusa as well to and also funny itself yeah funny of course so that's why they need to watch out their picks also for both teams on the other hand USJR has a runner ups for their preseason league so so that's why they need to step up step up themselves so now let's um Let's see uh, how these teams will execute, and and yeah. We're suspicious of that day. <laughs> okay. Grab is an ang dinuwaan sa si IT good kay. I think they can upset win against USJR, or USJR continues to win. Because of the, basta kuha lang yun, comfort picks lang yun ang kuha, pinaglalabanan yun nila yun. Yeah, comfort picks, counter picks. Let's see in the draft if they can, um, they can uh, counter pick their uh, comfort picks for the side of CITU. And if they continue to um, get, I, I mean, they continue to execute well with their comfort picks for the side of USJR. Yes. I totally agree with you, Sam. So that's why the Oguno lang yun ang draft picks lang yun na sa both, for both teams. So kinsa lang yung makauna o execute, kinsa lang yung makauna o kung makapitas, maor yun na ang kung ano, tower yun na ang pinakasintro yun na ogan. So, let's see kung kinsa ang mas batak karon nga season. Since new season naman sa ML. Yes. And, uh, yeah, it's so hard to uh, in the rank matches now, it's so hard to win. So, Solo, majug ko. Listo ju kaneng da ugun. So, unsan mga rank RG? So, epic pa Japan ko, epic one. <laughs> so, Listo ka ayo. Basta solo. Same, solo, Japan. We need, kailangan kita ka five months. Ka ayo. Pwede ra magani duo gani? Ayo, duo, trio. Oh. So, now let's go. Let's now go. Epic. So na drop pick, drop pick sa first, which is CITO. CITO ang first pick na to karon. And let's see their bans. So yeah, funny. they ban funny. We said it a while ago that funny. You said it, RG. That funny is somewhat uh, go-to assassin now in this meta. So let's see what will the USJR ban on the first base. I think they can ban their comfort hero picks, which is Valentina. Oh, oh Martis. Well. Yeah, we forgot to mention Martis, a good, uh, a good jungler as well. So, ano kaya iban ang si ATU? So possible ang mga jungle pod sa USGR. Or maybe carry, or they can first pick carry. Since first pick ang si ATU, they can pick a carry. Yeah. Oh, oh joy. joy. This joy is a flexible pick as well. It can be put into XP lane. 
It can be a jungler as well. We've yes. seen this jungler. We've seen this as a jungler in the M4. Yes. I think that was Todak. Yes, yes, Todak. Yeah. Todak against Onik. So USJR on their second phase. I mean, in their second ban. The ban the Lapu goes to Lapu Lapu ban. This Lapu Lapu is uh, very strong as well on the XP lane. Very so, Makunats. Yeah. So will we see a carry first pick? You said it, RG. This is a top priority marksman now. Yes, a top he's meta. So good in clearing lanes. Uh, he's good at kiting as well. He can kill tanks as quickly as he could since he's a tank healer himself. Herself, yes. carry. Robby. First pick, Judankari. So, so kay ipick sa USJR karun. So gipick nila ay Paramis at Blue. Blue na ba? Yeah, it's oh. the blue. Uh, I understand this Paramis pick since it is the the usual counter hero for blue. Um, the stampede can easily clear glues, uh, mini glues, and yeah, they pick it to they pick it for uh, CITU to not counter the, the glue pick. So the second pick of the CITU, which is Leo Mord, also na na also gihapon dili sa rank games. And Eve, and as Eve. what I mentioned earlier, that Eve is the kind of balik na sa meta gihapon. Yeah, the top priority mage as well, and as well as save, savior. Will we see a savior pick here on the third phase, or jungler heroes for USJR? Fun fact lang no kay ang, ang Eve kay mo juna pinaka top priority picks nila, which will be accumulated by 86 percent of the win win rate. Yeah, so. Let's, so we see a link pick. This is a counter to Eve as well. So that nananay, nananay mo abot dito sa likuran sa Eve. Which is the real world manipulation ni Eve. Mga backline ra ni Link. So what will be their ban? Um, CIT, Lux, Tank, and, uh, and XP, lane. XP lane. So they ban Kaja. Possible, possible pick of Asmodeus. Yeah, Kaja. Kaja is a counter pick to Ling as well. The chain stun, the lock it has, and it can be burst. Oh, 1-1. One, one. The one, they one. ban 1-1. One, one. So now, um, USJR lock uh, this. Lock MM. Yeah, Marksman and... Uh, we don't know because this, this... We don't know if Glue is a rumor or an XP laner. As well as this Paramis. Paramis can be on the middle lane and Paramis can be on the Roamer. Roam position, yeah. But they chose they chose the marksman hero, which is the Beatrix itself. Beatrix, ooh, nice skin there, M4 skin. The prime skin of Beatrix, na asa ko ana partner. Will this be a cheesy pick for CITU? Johnson? Johnson Meta na ba? Or maybe, um, or Grok. The comfort hero pick of Asmodeus, na yeah, ba? Yeah, Brock, Lolita, Chu on the wrong positions. Eh, possible Franco. Oh, they pick Lolita. Lolita and Masha. So they chose Masha to counter this glue on the XP lane. Makunat versus Makunat. And and they pick the ro roaming position. So this will be. X middle lane Paramis XP glue and they lack a roamer. They lack a roamer. Yeah. And this will be an the Atlas. Atlas with the fatal links. With the fatal links called Altar Combo. So let's see if this Eve will be forced to use the Purify or just use this. Um, sprint or flicker as an escape uh, capability and yeah instead Eve also has a um, CC immune when he's on his real world manipulation unlike before it can be cancelled but now it can't be padayon nagyapon ang kon ang real world manipulation jud yeah mas kiki cancel pa ni mo ang mga skills so that's why so CITU pick Kari played by Hedera, Masha for Kenny, Asmodeus with his Lolita, Anio, 
Madrito for Leo Mort. And now let's see where the junglers will start on taking their box. I think both of them will take blue box. And so nag invade na ang atong USJR. You see Lord Yuji here. Lord Yuji will he just forced to come back. Uh, forced to buck. Yeah, he just spotted out the Omar's buff. And we'll see a potential um, potential here. Yeah, potential uh, invade. Pero wala na dayon ang ato ang invade kay naama na atong lolita so that's why gipadayon na lang ang buff. Oh, they got the green green, green buff. Yeah, the green creep. But so this will force Ling to uncontest to uncontest the little, little wonder. Yeah. And now they're both on the uh, red buff. So as you can see on this bottom lane, the oh. carry, you can see that it is Napakasakit very, ng ating carry partner. Very strong on his lane, clearing waves, poking, and he has been um, babysitted by Azolios. Pero si Yush Yushiro no, nag German cut gihapon. Oh. The blue on the HP lane. He can cut, he can um, a gank, but he still needs his level 4 though. Para magamit ang split split. Yeah, and it's on 10 seconds before the first turtle. And here. Well, where will we at last forcing back? It's Duhan na sila kabok na ang, ang ilang core and the uh, rumor. Now, so, you can see the rotation from CIT URG that the Lolita is clearing the mid lane and the Eve is clearing the top lane. With the first pump, first kill spam of the glue. Oh, uh, nakita ng lao pa level 4. Pa level 4 ang Eve sa top, pa level 4 ang Lolita sa bot sa mid. So, we can see an advantage here for the CIT U to in this first turtle fight. With the first oh. turtle fight, with the oh, with the Numinum blast coming from the CITU, Asmodeus was we killed. Namatay ang ating glue. Yeah, that's a two for one trade, but the jungler has been killed in the side of CITU RG. Yes. So this will be. Uh, I think they can get the turtle of USJR. But as you can see, uh, na box out and with a fatal links coming. Oh, Usara man di ay pero oh no my goodness with the shadow stampede with the tempest of blades no good farami secures a kill now this is the first third still the first turtle for both of the teams here comes the glue grab grab and split split here comes the stampede from the Yomor. he has been spotted by two people here comes the ling he jumps out the turtle is on the red with the nominum blast oh with the first turtle goes to the CITO with the kill coming from the with the Leomord and the Masha itself. Oh, with the double kill coming from Dredo. And now, with that altercation, the CITU is now leading for almost 1.4K or 1, 1K something. Yeah, 1.8K, almost 2, 2K. Nindot kayo ang trade, mas nindot ang, mas leading ang CITU. Nakuha nila ang first turtle plus the double kill coming from Dredo. But Dredo also, he... Steals the red buff of Dawn. This forces Dawn to get this uh, bear on the side of so the map. So the item check will carry has a steel leg plates and the new sweep item. the new item itself. The crossbow, yeah. This is a pre corrosion side item. That's why this carry is so deadly on the late games. While Beatrix is struggling with is gone lane oh with the shadow with the real world manipulation with the cold altar and the fatal links no good with the killing spree coming from dredo with double kill laba double kill coming from dredo namatay ang ating faramis and dredo he got two people there um that was a uh, a wrong uh, position there for the side of usjr the fatal links and the one one hero only and it was been countered by the ruler manipulation by Haneo. Laking gulat natin dun ah. Yeah. Isa lang ang napitas pero namatay ang dalawa sa USJR kanina. Dredo was so confident. He even go into the turret 
to kill Beatrix, but fortunately, Beatrix was able to escape. So, 5 seconds with turtle spawn for the second turtle. It will see si ITU ba? Makuha na sad? Or it will be contested? Now, the with Rezo the is now taking starting. Oh, with the fatal wings coming from Lord Yuji and the cold auto with the shutdown coming from Lord Yuji. With the dawn gets the second turtle. Oh, namatay ang ating Ling. Oh, with the split split coming from Blue. Oh, with the kill coming from Yoshihiro. It's, that's a 3 for 1 trade. But the USJR, they got the turtle. Pero mas lead gihapon ang CIT. And three people are down. Dredo, Haneo, and Asmodeus on the side of CITU. So close game ra ang atong gold cap. Ha? Mga uh, accumulating 400 to 500 gold. And now, as you can see, USJ rotation. They even got the middle lane tower. Oh, and now it seems Hello. like this is an advantage for them. Oh, nakuha ba ang buff? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yoshihiro. He steals the buff of Leo Mord. Nice, uh, nice deal there by Yoshihiro. While Masha is clearing the, busy clearing the lane or the creeps itself while Ling is going to farm. Now you can see in that engage, um, Yoshihiro, he, he should catch the Eve on the back line or even Dreddo with here. The, with the Shadow Stampede, no good. Na, na atras pa ang ato ang Asmodeus. So it will be 3 on 3 na ba? Si Dreddo na nakakuha na, naka backdoor na ba? Hindi pa rin. Nakita pa rin siya ni Atlas with the first kill of Lolita with the cold altar coming from the Lord Yuji. Oh, Yato kill by Asmodeus. Oh, with the kill coming from... And with the exchanging of kills coming from both teams. Oh, namatay ang ato. Hapit na. Hapit na mamatay. Oh, namatay na dyan ang ato ang Kari sa Beatrix. What a nice engage there for Lord Yuji. He catches two people on his fatal links. He has been countered by rumored manipulation, but the the other members of the USJR was there and get some enough damage to kill three people. Dredo, on the other hand, he was on his stampede, on his hope, in his night, but the sustain is not enough for him, which means this third turtle will go into the hands of USJR. Oh, now with the cold altar, no good with the. Fatal Lakes, oh, with the Nominum Blast! Nagi cancel ang ato ang Nominum Blast! Oh my goodness, with the Split Split coming from Glow, with the kill coming from Dawn! With, with another trade again, mapakakunat ang ating Masha, pero Mega Kill coming from Rainier, with this Beatrix Double Kill coming from Rainier! Oh no, this seems a, a, a good play for the USJR, the Fatal Lakes again, the engage from Lord Yoji was able to catch Drago, Drago, and that is the fall down from the side of CITU. So, na destroy ang duha ka middle lane towers and isa ka bot, bottom lane. And the other side, the top lane itself, na, na destroy na pod sa CIT, sa USJR. And now, USJR is slowly owning on each side of the map. This will give them an advantage. Let's see if the kiting and the scaling of this carry on the late game will be enough to um, reverse the lead the USJR have now. Malaki ang gold advantage ng ating USJR uh, mga 4, 4k gold advantage. They should just avoid this um, engages from Lord Yoji on his fatal links. He's now coming in with a perfect match again. He catches Dredjo and no good with the first the slows from Eve. Will oh, the with the fatal link flicker coming from Lord Yuji and the cold altar coming from Yato. And with the Nominum Blast, hindi pa rin namatay na immortality ang atong Atlas, pero namatay. That is a bad engage on that um, in that moment there for Lord Yuji. He catches two people, but there's no backup since some of the members from USJ are so far away. Oh, with the kill coming from the Masha. Namatay ba ang ato Beatrix? 
Um, Beatrix forces to back. He forces this flicker to put himself back to safety. The Masha damage there is not, is not that, it's not a joke now, RG. Yes, it's not a joke for the damage of Masha. Rabi na jud. The rude manipulation has been popped by Haneo. And now this will give an upper hand. With a shadow stampede coming from Yato, no good. Now with a Luminum Blast, with a Cold Altar in the Fatal Links, no good. With the monster kill coming from Rainier, with the kill, oh the shutdown coming from, oh with the carry itself. Now, this would, this is now the, the turnaround for the side of CITU. They are taking the Lord, will Dawn, will Dawn steal this? Will this oh, oh, what a steal coming from Dawn! And now there's another engagement from the side of the both teams, here comes the blue. Gikomo and Olo Sanyuma Drago will fall down and Glue is on the other hand as well. He's oh, what a down. kill coming from Masha! Pero na, mas nindutan na still ang Lord sa USJR. Si Don Jude ang nakakuan Retry Gods. The Kyrie Gods. He stole it from three people, man. From the side of CITU. Of course, your Ling, you can jump up onto the walls. You have the immune from the, um, from his ulti, which is the Tempest of Blades. And now the Lord is now marching on the middle lane. Will this be uh, a, a base turret push for the side of USJR? Perfect match! Oh, oh with a flicker, with a fatal links, with a cold altar. Oh, what the, the kill coming from Dawn. With the, the Eve kill coming from the Yato with the ace, the ultimate of Masha. Oh, another kill coming from Drago. And now you can see the damage from the carry, RG. The damage from the carry and the humor as well together will pop off on the side of CITU. Grabe ka sakit sa duha ka heroes, oi. That's a one for uh, that's a two for one trade on the side of Oh, with the split split coming from Glue. Para pitasun ng atong Atlas. Oh, naki namatay ang ating Leomor. Oh, double kill coming from Rainier with his Beatrix. Ang sakit ng Beatrix katulad ni Oheb. Yeah, Love this Beatrix it. against this carry, who will lead? Here comes the uh, with a fatal links! With a cold outpour combo, with a real world manipulation, with a split split and the Numino no Blast, no good! Now forcing it back, the killing spray coming from the Beatrix! Ooh, Rainier! Oh, double kill! What a huge damage Rainier has! He has guided three people and fall off base turret number one on the top lane. And oh, the top kill as well. By uh, Neo on Lord Yoji. This Rob is now an upper hand for the USJR. So this is the chance na makadaog ang USJR. Tungod kay na-destroy naman ang inhibitor sa top lane. So mo ito na na. They first hit it back and they have a defense first. Before they spawn the Lord, which is marching in 35 seconds pa to spawn the Lord. And now they own this map on this next Lord Dance. RG. So 5k gold advantage coming from USJR. So we are now on the 13 minutes, almost 14. Yeah, as you can see, USJR is now leading RG. What do you think can the CITU do to turn around this game on their favor? So nahon lang jud perfect timing lang jud na unahon lang jud ang Vital Links Cold Altar para mo iwas sila sa kwan para sunod na dayon ang Nominum Blast in real world. Hedera should be careful on his position now. For he, he, she is the target. I mean, he is the target of his Fatal Links. Here comes the perfect match from the Atlas Fatal Links. The Fatal Links, no good. With a real world manipulation, with a cold altar, no good. With a Nominum Blast, no good. With the kill coming from Drago. Grubby. And now this is starting to be the turnaround. On the side of CITU, no good. They force it back. But look at the minions on top lane. Napakaraming minions. Pero wala parin na defense parin ni Hanineo. Look at burst. Oh, another unstoppable kill coming from the Rainier. And now this will give them the second Lord. This is the Lord that will jump pushing the turrets. But this is the second Lord. And this is an easy lord. Easy lord coming from USJR. Will they engage? Oh, with a cold altar, with a with a tempest of blade, with a 
Oh, what a monster kill coming from Rainier. Grabe ang Rainier. Oy, with a split split coming from Glue. Na, wala na. Ang ato ang... Oh, with a godlike coming from the Beatrix. And now, three people are down on the side of CITU. And the Lord is now marching on the top lane. Will, be, will they be able to defend this push for the side of USJR? Three people are still there. Hedera and Haneo can clear waves so quickly. And let's see. Base oh, turret number the... two on the bottom lane. No. Uh, Dawn will, was able to push that. And base turret oh, number the, three. Ang Lord na na to. Na, na, kuha na. Na marching na. Apit na. With a wild word manipulation. With a luminum blast. And then the cold altar coming from Yato. With a fatal legs. And namatay ang atong atlas. So with a legendary kill coming from Rainier. Ah, grabe sa katong Beatrix. Napakasakit ni Kuya oh, Eddie. Rainier. Oh, with a shutdown, with a Eve killing spree coming from Hanileo. And they force it. Oh, namatay ang ating Masha. CITU is still on the game, RG. You just said it that the, that carry should kite and Haneo shouldn't be um, cat, caught by the Fatal Links. And that happened. Only the Asmodeus was caught by the Fatal Links. On that last engagement. Grabe naman sa mga trade. Uy, at ito pa kinisabis. Nagka-trade-trade -trade naman ng kusog kayo. Grabe. Uy, perfect timing lang dyan ang ilang ang call. Perfect execution. Perfect call lang dyan. You can see the damage there from Hedera is so huge, man. It's not, it's not a joke at all. So, ang score ni Hedera kay 2-3-8 while the Beatrix is 14-2-4. Grabe. Sakita sa Beatrix. Murang nasa Niban. Magkuro siya ni Uheb lagi. Yeah, uh, on the early stages, um, he, he can be he, he can be easily killed by Dredo, by the Stampede, but now he can sustain with his Has Claws. Na na naabot naman ta sa late game, so ko alang yun timing timing na lang yun. And now the Lord will be up on forty seconds now, but it is an upper hand for the USJR. They own the whole map. You can see, no turret has been pushed on their side. 4K Gold League coming from USJR. No turret has been pushed. And uh, CITU has lost all of their turrets. And, and it's still on the late game. This is anybody's match now. So, padayon nagyapo ng pag-clear sa middle lane coming from USJR. So, na-prepare na ang Lord. So, this is their third Lord partner. Yeah, and now, the, the placements and the positions of each hero. The Luminous Lord. The tanky ones. Oh, the Fatal Links has been missed by Lord Yoji. Now, another resource has been popped by the side of USJR. As you can see, with the a split split, with a split split. Uh, with a Luminous Blast! Oh, with a kill. Namatay ang ato ang carry. Namatay. Out with a double kill coming from Drago. With the slain coming from Dawn. Namatay. Low life ng atong... With a shutdown coming from Dawn. Double kill. With his sling. Now, that is an unfortunate engage. Hedera on CITU was the first one to be killed. And now this oh, might with be with the killing spree coming from John. This might be the end. This may be the end of US CITU's nightmare. And Kenny, I don't think Kenny can defend this. With a cold altar, with a fatal links, no good. Tower lock na ba ang USJR? Oh. And game number one will go to USJR Jaguars. Grabe ang kwani initiation sa mga kwani. Pero mas nindot ang uh, clashing sa USJR. So, so, what happened there on the last engage, RG? So, grabe. Ang ato ang carry kay na nakuha na jud. Ilahan jud na defend jud ba kay liso jud kay kuan patambok ang carry. Yeah, carry has been caught by the split split by Yoshihiro. That is very commendable of him. Since Hedera, it's uh, carry is not, it's not a mobile hero. He's, he's just... Uh, a flicker, he only has flicker, um, small dashes from his phantom splits, and yeah, that engagement by Lord Yoji, he, has been, he failed on his fatal links, but they still continue to they, engage. They win the, 
the fatal is called altar combo nice pick from usjr so that's why they wait and their kwatong ganiha jud pinaka first lord jud na steel na steel ni don mo to pinaka kuon pinaka important jud pick man is so good is he counters um he counters Eve on the back lane he counters carry on the back lane as well and that you can see that usjr don't underestimate the link pick because link can do things and let's not forget also rainier on his explosive beatrix performance there so this is the first debut of usjr so wrap up and now let's see on the preceding teams on the next game under game two this is a best of three series yeah let's see on the game two let's see if si ITO makabawi ba sa napildi sa first game or can three two one merry christmas The magic this Christmas season with Virginia. The magic this Christmas season with Virginia.
the magic this Christmas season with Virginia. the magic this Christmas season with Virginia.
okay okay for technicalities for the earlier so or sorry for that okay delay me maka own sa cam because we're lack of assets so yeah and also for the clarification it's it is only best of two series because this this is a group classification a group stage Okay, so a very good day to each and everyone. So this is CITU versus our USJR. So this is a very intense match right now as 1-0 already in. How was the first game, Kuyamo uh, teams? So grabe. Nindot kayo ang initiation sa USJR, particular sa Beatrix ni Rainier. So well positioning ang makita natin sa ato ang USJR. So si Kinsa Toto ang Beatrix for last game? Si Rainier. Si Rainier. So... USJR won first match, right? Yes. So a very good start right here for USJR against CITU and a very good day. So to each and everyone that's watching the stream right now, uh, I hope you love and share the stream so that everyone would enjoy today. So first few bands of the game, we'll have here our Martis and our Lapu Lapu band. Considering the last week's game, Lapu Lapu was a very good hero considering with the XP leader from, I think it was from USJR or CITU. I forgot his name, but it was a very intense hero. One v four, a very sustainable hero right here. So, what do you think of the other banner coming out from the other side, Kuyamo uh, teams? So, for the first pick of CITU ban, it was not wala jud na ban. Kay I think it was technicality. So that's why. So first pick goes to USJR. So they first pick Faramis. So as they, as they pick earlier. So on the other side of the CITO, gusto bang bumawi sa kanilang defeat earlier partner? Yeah, they first pick this Paramis. But oh. to counter this um, expected glue pick. Oh, naagaw pa ang glue sa USJR. Nakuha sa CITO ang glue. And same hero core, which is Leo Mort. Oh, nakuha ang ato ang carry. And the same hero, which is Ling. Same picks for USJR. Uh, that gives them a win. Then why not use it again? Now the third pick here for CITU. It goes to Mage. Will this be an Eve? Again? Or, or Sibir? Or probably. But or they can pick Parsa. Yeah, Sabir. Oh, Sabir. So the third pick or the final ban goes to the CITU, which will be. I think they can ban Atlas because of this earlier. Yeah, Lord Yoji on the previous game. He was explosive on his Atlas engages. He catches two, either he catches two or three. It is worth it. Oh, Diki. Diki. Since CITU will be the first pick on the second phase, they are looking to pick the Atlas. Will hey. they pick Atlas? They banned Lunox. Yeah, they pick oh, Atlas. Oh, Atlas. That's why they banned pa. Yeah, they banned this Diki for this. Naagaw pa ang sa hero. Valentina is open. He can counter pick. He can get Atlas fatal with, links. With the I am you. Yeah. And which means that if they pick this Valentina, the Faramis will go on meron, the position. Meron naman tayong kwan, sa Faramis, which is a mage or the Pospor. So they can pick a Kaja o oh, Kaja and the Yuzhong. Now, look at this pick of USJR. It is so scary, man. With this Yuzong and Ling, it can easily jump jump onto the back lanes. Savior should be careful on his positions. With the dragon form coming from the Yuzong para makuha ang sa dawning light ni Savior. And, oh, yeah. they pick a clean coming from Hedera. They they surprisingly pick Clint. It can be easily caught by the Dragon Tail from the Yuzong. Yeah, he's not too mobile. So there are three flickers coming from USJR and also CITU. Three flickers, then the Petrify coming from Yuzong. 
Uso naman na ang Petrify use yung Yeah, Petrify, Dragon Tail The Chain Stun Plus the Kaja The Divine Judgment He has Okay Para ni mo partner Kinsa may mas pabora ni partner From early stages Mid and late game stages From the early stage I think Ling will be um, Much more um, Faster in terms of clearing Jungle waves I mean jungle creeps Since he has this uh, Demon Slayer uh, emblem. So welcome to the land of dawn. This is their second game against both teams, USJR and CITU. So chill lang muna o oh, nag nag clashing agad ng yujong at chaka glue. Grabe. Now they're poking. Oh no, Yoshi. I, I mean, um, Yoshihiro. Yoshihiro. He has no. Uh, dash on that um, engagement. So first blood goes to CITU. But the Little Wonderer will now they, go into the hands of Dawn. And they can contest it all with the retribution coming from Dawn. And now the jungler's rotation is going on to the gold lane. With um, Dredo on his blue buff and Dawn is in red buff. With the Atlas, no good. Kaja meets the three on two coming from from USJR and CITU. And they parin nakapitas. Oh, with the forcing flipker coming from Kaja. With the shot to stampede coming from. Oh, what a kill coming from Lord Yuji. Dredo has been pulled back by Yato Stampede. Wag kang masadong read it. And now that is a one for one trade. Kaja gets the kill, and both roamers got the kill. Uh, with the with the German cut coming from the glue. That glue hero is so very OP, man. The very annoying. Kill, yeah, the, and the, the first kill he has is unlimited. If first kill is he will spam. He will step on that first kill he has, and now the U, U, CITU is taking. This first turtle stampede has been popped by oh, with the dra dra dragon form coming from the Yujong. Oh, with the petrify use with the tempest of blades with the kill and the turtle slay coming from the USJR and the kill coming from the Yushihiro. Namatay ang ating Atlas. Kenny is on Yushihiro. Oh, Yushihiro oh with a low life. Oh, with the first click flicker. No good. Namatay. Tabla sila. But he pays off his life as well to get that kill. Yoshihiro is on his second death. Oh my goodness, Clean has low life. They force, he forces it back. So that's why he needs to play uh, play safely with his Clint because Clint has an early advantage because of his first skill. Sakit ang first skill ni Clint compared to Kari. And on 3 minute mark, 1k lead on the side of USJR. Lord Yoshi meets Asmodeus on the bottom lane, babysitting both of the marksmen. So that they can farm as soon as possible para makakuan jun sila sa ilang clashing. They can advantage. Ilang oh with a divine judgment coming from the Kaja. No good with the shadow stampede. Oh with the kill coming from Dawn. Double pull. For the USJR, he has been pulled by the Divine Judgment plus the pull from Yato Stampede. With the kill coming, oh, with the off cam kill coming from Rainier and the kill coming from Heredera and Dredo. That is a good engage there for CITU. With a two on one trade. Since Rainier is all alone, he has been, he has been surrounded by three people and they got the kill. So chill, tamang chill lang muna. At yeah, Dredo, they are preparing for this next turtle fight. For the second turtle. Look at Kenny's position there. He is so deep, trying to cut this wave. Yes. It's very annoying that they can use the German cut. And Hedera is double laning, clearing middle lane and will go back to his lane. The dragon with the dragon form, coming from the... Yushihiro 
Wala. Magyapon. Oh, with the petrify coming from Yoshihiro. Malapit. Oh, with the fatal legs coming from with the cold altar. And no good. Namatay ang ato ang Yoshihiro with the double kick coming from Jedo. With the shutdown coming from Rainier. And double kill la ba? Double kill? Oh, double kill coming from Rainier with his curry. Napakasakit naman ng curry. Nice rotation there from Rainier. You said that this carry is so deadly on late game. But we can see he is now starting to pull up some kills like that at this 5 minute mark. So the second turtle goes to USJR again uh, with a zoning light. Wala pa rin sapat na oh no. damage. Rainier is now snowballing this game. He has 3 kills on his hand. Hedera on the other hand has 1. With a score of 4-1-1. From Kari. Wait, who got the turtle? RG? USGR. Yeah. The second turtle goes to USGR. And now that gives them a 1.3k gold lead. And yeah, that last engagement from Lord Yoji was commendable as well. He pops off his flicker, divine judgment combination. And that is the perfect target they had. And that was Hedera. Yes, I agree. So, na chill chill lang muna ang nasa gold lane, pero nagatang, uh, nagabang ang ato ang mga roamers. And now, let's see the item check. If what this carry already has now, he has corrosion sight. So, first item, Jodnia. And Berserker's Fury on clean. Daling. Surprisingly, um, carry is leading only 200 gold, wherein he has 4 kills. Against Hedera. I mean, he's three kills ahead against Hedera. So the Kaja will be using item of Dominance Ice para sa glue. Sa only heal. Yeah, as you can see, the Stampede has been popped. The Dra Black Dragon Dragon form has been popped by Yoshiro. Dredo has been chased. And now, here comes Dawn. With a split split coming from glue. Oh, namatay ang ating Yoshihiro. Yoshihiro has been killed and Dreddo. that black dragon form Dreddo. resource has been popped. Dredo has already 4-3-0 with his Leomorph. Well, oh, they pushed the bottom lane. Tier 1 turret USJR. on the bottom lane Grab on the me. side of USJR. And the third turtle goes to... Not yet. Oh, with the... Oh, with the fatal lane with the... Oh, with the cold altar coming from the USGR, with the mega kill coming from Rainier, but the turtle secures the CITU, and also the double kill coming from Rainier. Grab si Rainier, oi. Lord Yo Lord Yoji caught. I caught um Hedera there. He pops off his flicker. Hedera pops his flicker as well, but the divine judgment was still able. To get Hedera, but the counter engage from Asmodeus there is not enough since the damage of the CITU is not enough. Dapat mag item pa dyan ang ato ang CITU. Okay, kuwang pa dyan sila sa damage. So that's why they need to farm fast and to clear up their lanes. Okay, para mas kuwan sila patas na sila inika during sa clashes in the future. Look at the minimap though. Three people. On that tri bush on the top lane. And uh, oh no, Dredo he has been caught by the, the Divine the, Judgment. He has his three people. With the Stampede with the, oh, with the monster kill coming from Rainier. Now the carry is now slowly getting his core items now. RG. Namatay ang core sa CITU. That was a bad uh, face check there for Dredo. And now the Stampede has been countered. By perfect match from the uh, Atlas. Coming from Asbodeus, they can, he, he can check Bush. The perfect match. Yo Yoji still and has his flicker. They requested for a pause. And now that now the, the engagement there uh, from Dread, though, he mistakenly uh, face check on the Tri Bush. Which is not very commendable for junglers. What do you think, RG? Na abang ang tulo kabog sa USGR para mamatay ang ilang core sa CITU. 
Yeah. Nindot ang kuan ang face check sa USJR pero ang CIT yo grabe mura na mistake jud nila ang pagtan-aw gina tulo gyud di sila kabuo sumuto na matay ang court That's when Lord Yoji uses the divine judgment plus the stampede again the, the double pull combination for from Yato and Lord Yoji Lord Yoji grabe the pull from the divine judgment and the pull from the stampede of the farmers and the, the, the damage was enough there on uh, Rainier. The carry now has his skills. Um, he now has his core items. And still, it's 9 minute mark of the game. The carry is now working. 7 1 1 score ni carry. While on the plane is 1 2 0. So, what do you think the CIT once again should do in order for them to be back on this game? In order to avoid sa koan mga countered initiations, dapat mauna jud ang divine judgment could alter sa USJR para maka counter initiate jud ang CITU. Yeah, Yato was commendable as well. When uh, Asmodeus will pop his fatal links, the cult author will be there to save uh, USJR's members. So that's why mo ang liso jud ang koan nung jud counter counter goes for both teams pero timing timing lang jud kung kinsa jud makauna mao sa ni mamatay jud ana grabe so what what can um what can be do what what can be done by the the atlas and the both roamers what what should they do to in, in order for them to provide the vision to provide an advantage for their teams. So now we'll be back on the game. So now the the three members of USGR go to the top while the two so to go to mid middle lane. Ang atong lane nagtago sa bush para ma check bush nila kung asa ang contrast sa CITU. Since it's 9 minute mark of the game, first lord will be up. This is not the jumping lord but this is a normal lord. Normal lord lang yun sa what, 9 minutes. Now four peoples for both of the teams are surrounding on this lord area. Yato face checking with Atlas on the tribush. They can, they can contest it both teams of the lord. Look at the engagement of both tanks. They have both they both have flickers. And oh, with a flicker, with a ju divine judgment goes to the Kaja with the godlike coming from Rainier. Nice pick up mo. there for USJR. Now that gives them an upper hand to, to grab this first lord. They can underestimate the carry's damage. Maski magtang carry pa na sakit gihapon. But you can see CITU. They will contest oh. this lord fight. Oh, USJR forces the cold altar. Oh, with the lord still coming from savior. And now the black dragon form oh, with has the been countered there. Oh, no. It's not enough for Haneo to survive. But look at the glue. He caught Rainier. Shut down. That is a good target he has. But the good thing is, nakuha ang lord sa CITU because of saviors. Nice steal there for the CITU. Now perfect match on the Atlas. Oh, he with the fatal links. Oh, with the kill coming from Hedera. They Rugby. know that Ling doesn't have the the the, the, the Tempest of Blades. That's why they go in, and the Lord is now marching on the top lane. Here comes the stamping from the humor. Lord Yoji is off one percent of HP. The dominant light will miss, and will this be the first turret on the top lane? And also the middle tower as well. But now, um, they can defend. USJR was able to defend all of their base turrets. But CITU continues to push. Continues to get this game. Rainier should be careful on his positions. He will be the target of this fatal links. Also, he has been caught by Kenny a while ago. With a split split. It was a shutdown earlier. Sakit yun ang glue. Yeah. The vision now on the side of CITU is much more 
uh, bigger than the USJ or Black oh, Dragon Core Mass Field Force. Force. And that's with the Divine Judgment, judgment. Oh, with the Fatal Links, no good. Namatay, namatay ang atong Atlas with the Split Split coming from Blue. Walang oh, no, is zoning three people. Oh. Dawn, on the other hand, he caught Savior and Dredo has been killed by Dawn and now three people are all left alone on the side of TATU but they are still on their confidence to get some of the members but two for one trade for CITU but Don was the the, 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 the compensate for the CITU and they, they have a trade trading of kills uh, course core of both teams so dapat ba makuha ba sa blue buff ang atuang CITU the purpose of this link pick has been done by Don getting Haneo on the back oh, with the judgment. By judgment with oh with a kill coming from Kari against four people I think the oh double, double kill, kill coming kill. from Lord Yuji I think the, it and does now, a technical problem coming from the blue fortunately on the side of USJR the Lord will be on their upper hand no three peoples are down oh, so they requested a pause coming from the USGR the divine judgment of uh, Lord Yoji there was on point he caught uh, Hedera Hedera is the perfect target with the three for non trade coming from USGR yeah Yogi. and Rainier continues to snowball and get his skills and core items Con Rainier continues to shine whatever it is with his carry on this situation RG yes five against two people do you think this CITU will contest the Lord take of USJR they can contest because uh, they can contest with the core but kuang judsila sa members or maybe Haneo could could send some Hail Mary dawning light to steal this Lord Yes, that's right. If he can, if ma timing jud ang dawning light ni Haneneo. Yeah, perfect timing, perfect position. And, and also the Leo Mort itself, the composition jud. They if can use, jud siya makatago. They can use the vision they have. The the, the what you call the vision when you when you step on it. And then Haneneo can uh, perfectly timing, perfect timing, perfectly time the steal of this lord. So earlier, ganiyan na na steal man ang atong turtle. So that's oh, the the back to the game. Oh, with the Lord, so they can contest the Lord partner. Yeah, on that engagement a while ago, USJR manages to get the second Lord. This is the jumping Lord. Will jump push into turrets. So they have a immortality coming from Lord Yuji and the BOD goes to Lee. With the top lane tower has been destroyed. So ang buhato na lang anad. ITU is to defend their base. This seems like a seesaw game now. A while ago, CITU is on the lead. Now, the Lord is now marching on the bottom lane for the side of USJR. Will this seesaw stop and continue? The lead of USJR or the CITU will be bounced back. Now the tier 1 turret on the bottom of the conceal play. Oh no, Kenny's all alone. He has been spun up by four people. And Kenny with the divine judgment. Oh, with a kill coming from Rainier. Oh, with a kill is coming from Lord Yuji with the fatal links. Fatal links, but no. Uh, back up. The link is on the top lane for the side of the... Of the with the split push technique coming from Ling. Oh no, they requested a pause. Oh, with a mega kill coming from Lord Yuji. That was a perfect ca catch there by Lord Yuji. Kenny was all alone on the team to turret defending. Oh, I think the glow it has a problems with his internet connectivity or his cell phone itself. So that's why they requested for a pause. Yeah, this pause is much more important since we are into fair game now. Uh, RG. Yes. So do, the Ling was pushing at, at the top. They use they used a split push technique. So what is a split push technique? A, tec, a, mem, a team or a one member can push other lanes, dude. 
mo na siya ang split push. When you say banana split, they can push at two lanes, but only one will kuanjud ka na mo. Clash yud ba? Yeah, they're maximizing the mobility of this link since you can just easily pinch point on to the engagements. So that's why ang uh, grabe ang uh, nindot ay ipik ang link eh, para dali na kay makapush sa mga other lanes. If ever, if there was a clash between both teams dude. Yeah, and now it's two, I mean three people are all left for the CITU. While USGR is fully alive. Plus the Lord. Plus the Lord itself marching in the bottom lane. Well, I think this is a good uh, point for uh, USJR to get the base turrets. Or they could end this as well, since there are only three people, but it's a savior, man. So hard to, to, to push with a savior. So hard to kill savior because he is good in positioning. Range manisha. So that's why he needs to be careful together with his clan para dili sila makapitas sa mga heroes sa USGR. Yeah, you just said it, that this savior is a global, a global skilled hero. He can just, he, 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 he could, he could just stay on his base to spam his dawning light. But will it be enough? Katapusan na ba ang CITU? Or, ma, or babangon ba? Pero ang USGR, they can end this or dapat disiplinahon pa nila. Now this is now, as you can see, the marksman's Hedera. I don't think Clint Pick is viable in this game since he's, he's, too, he's, not, mo he's not mobile. He can be easily caught by the Dragon Tail from the Yuzong, the Flicker. Uh, divine, divine Judgment from the Kaja and the Cold Altar. The Cold Altar combination of it and also the Link's mobility to kill people on the back lane. With, with the double pull, with the Shadow Stampede and the Divine Judgment. Yeah, double pull combo for uh, USJR. So as you, we can see na nindot ang combinations sa USJR compared sa CITO. Uh, unlike sa CITO, it's more on ranges. With, when it comes to Sevier and the clean itself. For USJR, it's more on composi team compositioning, the double pull strat, and also the petrify from Yusho. Look at the draft of CITU. They can kill people on the back line as well. As Modeos will be aggressive, fake, uh, flicker fatal links, and Dredo will uh, join with his stampede. He can easily kill. Um, carry on the back lane. But suddenly, carry. He has called Altar. He has called Altar from Yato to save and uh, mitigate some damage the CIT have. Kaya nga yun, may link pa mobility plus called Altar, then Divine Judgment and the Dragon Tail. Carry is just um, kiting on the back lane. Free hit lang ang ating carry, pero grabe ang damage. Di jud mada. Sa mga rank games diha, sakit yung kay ang carry, di ma ibanjo na ninyo ang carry. Sakit yung kaayo. It's with the new item, the crossbow. It's with crossbow jud. Ah, grabe. Crossbow, that is a pre-corrosion site item. And you'll combine, it, you'll combine it with the golden staff, the demon hunter demon hunter. And now, carries deadly on that four items. So, so ang link kay na naka Berserker Spear ni. Berserker Spear will talk her. Plus, and the spell, and the spell maybe. So, so ang atong kajo kay na Dominance Eyes, same goes by Yusho. Yeah, so Dominance Eyes is a good counter to Glue, since Glue is the same hero, as well as Drago. With this Leon Mordjot, grabe ang mga heal heroes. Mono na nag item na dyan sila o Dominance Eyes. So in order to do, in order to counter the Dominance Eyes, they can use Oracle or Kuan Jud. Anti-Lifesteal. Yeah, Oracle. Oracle is a good counter. Oracle will um, 
put you some extra region. <coughs> and yeah, let's see if um, this will be the end of this game or CITU will be able to defend. It's a 2-0 na ba or 1-1? One, one? I wanna see a game 3 man, I wanna see a game 3 from both of these teams. So there is only a two games, or they can draw or they can sweep. Oh, yeah. Best of two. The best of two series. Clarification earlier that this is not a best of three series. This is a best of two series since it is a group stage. Yeah, it's either CITU can tie this or USJR will grab two, uh, two games. So, uh, while waiting for the game, because CITO has a lot to fix, their mem uh, their, one of the members of his uh, CITO can fix this, his phone or and also the internet connectivity. So, yeah. And we will go for the M4 itself. No? Yeah, uh, it's January 7, man. I've waited for this day also for the M4 playoffs. Playoff pa sa upper bracket. Echo versus T Team Hawk. Yeah, the first match would be, I think, Falcon against Onyx. Yes. Falcon Onyx. is, Falcon is uh, competitive, man. They are on the number one seed in the Group A, followed by the Blacklist. Blacklist International, yeah. So, they, they achieved, they, they beat Blacklist International twice. So, as they mentioned, Blacklist Nga wala daw, wala yung team na makabit nila og twice. And that's the Falcon Esports. Yeah, Falcon man, I think, I think Falcon can win it against Onyx. Yes. But, they can underestimate the Onyx Kyrie. The Samsung Kyrie. Samsung Ling. Samsung Ling. It is trending right now. It's like what's Don, what Don is doing now. Samsung Ling. Nasanay ba nga si Don o ni Kyrie? Grabe. Paspas kay Kamut, naka, naka steel lord pa tong pag game 1. First lord tong nakakuan, naka steel. Sumoto na, ah, grabe dyan ang pag research. Grabe ang research ni Don, sa Ling, ni Kairi. And what will be the second game I think? It is Team Hack against... Team Echo. Team Hack against Echo. Ooh. Our M4 representatives. Yeah, Echo is scary man. They are defeated on their... And their rack, I mean their stage, I mean their group. They got three zero. Then RRQ Indo will be two one. R uh, it's RRQ against Todak. Oh uh, yes. Mistake on that match. I think they can they can win against Todak. Basta si Albert mo ko alam jud nindot o facility sa iyang pagka jungler as well as his members jud. If Albert will pick. Um, assassin heroes like Ling, Fanny, they, they mostly kay tanks mo dyan ang ilang kwan. Yeah. And, and Blacklist will be against uh, RRQ Brazil. Well, the, the, the RRQ Brazil, it has 35 game winning streak, but they nanapildi sila sa S11 Gaming. Oh yeah, they, they put the S11 gaming is from Argentina. Yes. They caught the RRQ Akira's from winning streak. But yeah, RRQ Akira is scary as well against Blacklist International. But so I think the, Blacklist I, can do it. I think the RRQ Akira has adopted the OB strategy of Blacklist. Yeah. And also the banana split from Onyx PH last M3 season. M3 season, you mean... With Kyrie Onik, yes, PH, yes, Kyrie Baloyski, Dilar, Dilarski, Hate, 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 and Marky, yeah. yes, that team is deadly as well. And on the lower bracket, what are, what is the match that you are you've been waiting for on this M4? For the lower bracket, I think they can have a. The Valley versus Born X Plush. Yeah, the Valley was disappointing. They, they didn't meet the expectations from the people since that they are the, the third Easy player. bracket. It is an easy bracket daw, sabi ni Mubazin, pero hindi pala. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, get it pushed on to the lower bracket. But the Valley, I mean, the Valley on previous M series was BTK. Yes, BTK. And, and they, they, they beat a Blacklist International yeah, in the upper, upper bracket. They was a dark horse in that match. Um, they managed to place number three on the whole tournament. Yeah, that's, that's why people are expecting them to perform this M4. But unfortunately, uh, they they weren't able to meet the expectations that people have. Because the Valley has a new players like Basic from the PH. Yeah, Basic is a Filipino as well. The Filipino import. Yeah, as well as Hun from their Korea. New, their new middle name. From, from Korea, Korea, which is Hun. So, grabe ang kwan. Same lineup, pero naan ay bago. Si, bagong additional. Yes, si Zia, wala na si Zia sa kwan yeah. na Zia was a Filipino as well. Siya to ang mage na to, pero wala na si Zia. The reason why Zia was not included in the, the Valley, it is because he wants to try out with the other teams. He wants to go on the gold lane. Yes. Unfortunately, Zia was... The original fan ka na middle lane jud siya pero ganan jud siya sa gold lane jud. So that's why modern na balhin na siya sa lain team. Let's talk about the the Valley's um opponent will be Burnex Flash. What do you think of Burnex Flash? The Burnex Flash coach Zico from the Philippines NXP Evos. Yeah, if they will put Hesa back on the lineup, I think they can they can beat the they, Valley. Can, they, they can, can they can put back Hesa in the starting lineup against the Valley. But the Kuang Lanjud, ang Kuang Lanjud nila is ang Kuang White Pool sa heroes. Yes, because their their previous match, last their last two match, they didn't let Hesa play. They let Fury instead, and a Cambodian player. First. First game na nagduwa si Hess sa kontra sa INC. Sa Incendio. Incendio is a good team as well from Turkey. Yes. So they, they are the Dark Horse on the lower bracket. What will be their opponent? Incendio against... Uh, I forgot the... What? Oh, so they can... Get, so now let's go back onto the game. And this will be the Lord pushing on the bottom. With the dawning light, with the killing spree coming from Rainier. With the pushing and the mystic with the heal. Oh, oh with the cold altar. No good. Oh, with a bit petrify coming from the Yujo. With the dawn. Oh, not a kill coming from Jedo. Oh no. Oh, with a mega kill coming from Rainier. What a nice trade coming from both teams. So, four on one trade coming from USJR. They can force to an end. They can force to a sweep against the ITU. Wala pa rin. They can defend. No, the look, look at the HP. They're, They're pushing it. it. This will be the end. Oh, yes. yes. USJR grabs two games against CITU. What a sweep coming from the USJR. Since this is their first debut. The audio sila sa first game. Yeah, so, the, 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 the preview, I mean, the Black Dragon form was there to, to zone um, Haneo. Haneo still manages to survive with the uh, the HP region, but Rainier, he has been um, chased by Dredo, but we have he has this. Oh, I think he sold his uh, wind of wind of nature. Uh, yes, he instead bought, of Thunderbolt. Yeah, he bought he sold he sold this um, wind of nature and bought this immortality. So that will sustain Dreddo's engagement. Yes. And that outplays Dreddo. So the first game MVP goes to Rainier, and the second game MVP goes to. He is again. Rainier again. The, he is Kari. So congratulations, USGR, for winning the first game of this series 2 0. And congrats to CIT as well for giving us a good match for both of these schools. Good game well played for both teams so thank you thank you for both teams and let's stay tuned for the next match it is 
It is the defending champions for the preseason USC Warriors against UV Green Lancers. Stay tuned, guys, and don't forget to like and share our Facebook page at Sisapi Esports League.